This here is from X. It's a post that got some attention. Instead of saying, well, a certain word, I'm going to say Mary Jane, but I'm pretty sure you all know what I'm talking about. So the post says, from January 25th, 2024, woman 32 who stabbed her date 100 times to death in Mary Jane-induced frenzy is sentenced for 100 hours of community service. As the judge says, she had no control over her actions after Mary Jane caused psychotic breakdown. Because throughout history, throughout the last 50 or 60 years, we've heard so many cases like this, haven't we? Where Mary Jane caused that psychotic breakdown. For me, I think this is maybe the first or second or third out of all my years on the planet. A hundred hours of community service? Look, I didn't hear all the details and everything around it. I think he gave it to her actually. I could be wrong. But even if so, man, community service for that? You guessed it, though. This is in California. No wonder why Marilyn Mance is having problems in California with the courts. They seem a little bit, let's just say, out there to me. So here's the article. It's from a place called Crazed, I think. People do crazy things all the time while I'm Mary Jane. Most people who have smoked Mary Jane have experienced a bad trip at least once usually experiencing feelings of paranoia or anxiety, which is kind of normal. But all right, I'm not going to get into all the experiences, what's wrong and what's right. Let's just stick with the facts. This is not something you hear commonly that's caused by you know what. Also, even if so, it's still killing someone. In the case of one California woman, the results of a bad trip led her to commit the unthinkable. Not sure if I'd call it a trip, I mean, I guess not everyone knows the difference, but if you do know the difference, you know it's a little different. From Brian Sprenger, if I'm saying that right, that is one heck of a name to pronounce, smoking Mary Jane was not something she had experience with. Okay. Before the fateful day of May 28, 2018, wow, this is a while ago now, but okay, she had no experience with the Mary Jane. She had been dating her boyfriend, Chad, for only a few weeks before they decided to smoke a bit of Mary Jane together in his apartment in Thousand Oaks. At first, it didn't do her much, but he encouraged her to take more, which is kind of normal. Usually, like drinking, you have one, or like anything, then someone's like, well, have another. You know, you're not feeling it really. Okay, so, there he is. Looks like a normal guy. Her reaction was nothing short of disastrous. She immediately ran to the bathroom, overcome with panic. She then left the bathroom and, in a state of Mary Jane-induced psychosis, stabbed Malia 108 times. Right, Chad Malia, sorry. Failed to mention his full name. She even stabbed her own dog during her psychosis. Wait, she went to the bathroom? There was a knife in the bathroom? And why? Just curious. She was found over his body with the knife in her hand, and she stabbed herself in the throat when the police tried to disarm her. It's kind of weird. I don't know, man. I just think if it's not in you in the first place, you can't do something like this. Doing something like this is not in me. It's not in you. It's in people who, well, would do something like this. That's just the facts. Can I say, you know, I got drunk and I drove on the highway, but I've never drank anything before, so I guess it's okay. It was just the alcohol doing it. No. You go to jail for that. Well, maybe in California they give you, like, community service for it. I don't know. I'm not in California. Sounds pretty out there to me. I'm never going. No offense if you're there. No offense. No offense. It's just sounds scary. Big crimes getting off the hook for very little punishment. And there she is. Okay. Basically, her lawyers argued she became involuntarily intoxicated. I don't know. You're putting yourself in that situation, in a sober mind. You're still deciding to do it. So, she was found guilty of involuntary manslaughter. They say the sentence was shocking to many who've been following the case. Some people were outraged over the lenient sentence, and others said it was the fault of Mary Jane. All right, then. If so, we should see more cases like this all over the world. People use it all over the world. So, where are the other cases? They're not there because it's a rare thing that someone does some Mary Jane 
who happens to be somebody who would do something like this. That's why. But again, I'm no lawyer, and I'm certainly not in California. What do I know? They say, although it is a lenient sentence, it's in line with involuntary manslaughter charges, meaning it's kind of an average sentencing for involuntary manslaughter. You know, the whole thing is like, well, it's so sad on both ends, on all ends. I don't know, man. Seems like it's way more tragic for his family and for her. Something she went through, she'll have the memory forever, but she'll get over it, she'll move on with her life, and that's that, and his family won't. I was going to say that's my opinion, but no, that's the fact. Anyway, leave me a comment down below. Doing pop culture, entertainment, but I might spread out a little bit and do some more news stories like this. Just whatever catches my interest. And if you don't subscribe here, I'll be sad, but I'll get over it. See you next time.